five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Talking now. We're flipper flicks. <laughs> I'm Adam. We're on. That was we're on. That was great. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> I threw you guys off there, right? <laughs> I knew what you were doing after, like, you started the, f- the first two numbers. I knew what you were doing. I was like, ah, yeah. I was like, we already This said guy, that. he got us. This is very good. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I said my name. I said um, I did my purpose. So I'm tagging. Oh, hey, I'm Sam. <laughs> and we are Flipper Flicks. I think you said that, too. We are. We are uh-huh. a... Self-described, described, I don't Describe know why. It. I started saying that word and I was like, that's not how you that's say not that a word. word. It's a fake word, <laughs> fake news. A self-described movie review podcast. We also describe ourselves as not professional. And we release episodes every Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can catch them, you know, wherever you find your pods. Like the Ocho. What? Oh. Yeah. Are you just making shit up? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's <laughs> for dodgeball. I yeah. was like, I don't know what that means. Yes, be on the Ocho. Yeah, the Ocho. Where they show the dodgeball world championships. Oh, I see. Well, we do not show the dodgeball world championships. Not yet. Tim. Tim Nor have we talked job, about yeah. them, which is kind of <laughs> shocking because I feel like you both like that movie. Yeah, I we love We have that discussed movie. this. <laughs> yeah, I think that came up in our top hundy. Uh, anyway, Hoodle. Poodle. We are on Spotify, Apple, <laughs> Google. Google. Uh, and you can rate us if you'd like. We've been around for two years, so we wouldn't, Almost. We wouldn't mind you dropping us a line, telling us why you stuck around for two years. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to our shenanigans. <laughs> We're just catching us in the on those episodes that you're like, you know, that they probably have some great r- ridiculousness. Great takes on that movie I saw yeah. a million years ago. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And we have a website. That's there where you, you can go. reach out and tell us as well. If you get stage fright and you don't want to review us, you could just drop us a line. Or you could recommend movies for us. We are slowly building our recommendation <laughs> list up. So we there. would love that. Any extras on there would be appreciated. Yeah, we're going to have like three next season. Because we only have three episodes left in this season. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. That was crazy. That's wild. Kind of wild, yeah. Just yeah. A tad, just a tad. Makes me feel old that we've been chatting like this for two years. <laughs> it's like time has just flown <laughs> by. It, it, it like we had feel a little strange to do it like a week ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, we discussed it like for like four or five months before we actually started doing yeah. it too. Mm-hmm. Remember when we were going to just do Disney movies? Nah. Oh, I mean, there's plenty of content on Disney Plus. And then so. they actually started making originals, and I was like, "Good on you!" Yeah. But we're gonna do everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah. And speaking, I like of what everything. we said a lot. <laughs> Tim, <laughs> I have Tim. Hi, Tim. <laughs> howdy, Hi. howdy, uh, howdy, howdy. I'm Adam. I do not remember the category for this. Wordplay. Wordplay. Was oh, wordplay? I'm so yeah. What oh, that's were... right. The couch and coral. Shit, he remembered. I know. I Adam was like, I don't think he understood the assignment. I'm like, I actually feel like he did. So please explain. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Couch and coral, right? Um, yeah. So there's a couch in the RV. There's a <laughs> True. Cou- there's a few couches because there's one yes, in there's, like the... Well, yeah. I, was, I didn't want to like watch the whole movie and then be like, this is the movie. So I like... I looked up a couple scenes that I like remembered and I knew there was the RV scene. And I was like, okay, if anything, it might be coral colored. I was like, but I want to find something where there's couch and coral. And there is a scene in this movie where they're filming underwater and there's a coral reef. Oh. So yeah. It's very hard to see, but it is, the, no, it, yeah. it is a coral reef. Um, so there you go. He, he understood. That's the how I got it. I got it. I, I understood it for once. Um, and the movie is, since I haven't said it yet, uh, Strange Wilderness. Um, Sam's, this movie, Sam's in shock. Yeah, th- this movie actually came to mind almost immediately when you guys said that with the word play. It's a movie from 2008. I absolutely love this movie. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. Uh, I picked it and it came to mind because I love this movie. So it's mostly to see, because I know you guys hadn't really seen it, right? Uh, you know, like you it used to be like on a Comedy ago, Central. Yeah. So it was mostly to see what you guys thought. But anyway, um, yeah, I guess this is kind of my expectations too. But here's the synopsis for you. 
Uh, with the ratings dropping for, for their wilderness-themed television show, Misfit TV crew members go to the Andes Mountains in search of Bigfoot. And this movie kind of came out when there was a bunch of other really good comedies that came out. And uh, uh, we'll see if it's up to par with those, I guess. But um, I kind of already did my expectations since, you know. You did. Yeah. So somebody else next. Sam, go. I cannot believe that. <laughs> I think this is actually the first wordplay that we've actually like. Like nailed it. <laughs> successfully executed. I think <laughs> like, there's been like one other one, but I can't remember. Purple and Glorious. Oh, that's true. Purple and glorious. Okay, mm. so we're actually getting better at our word plays. We clearly. are. We understand mm-hmm. words to an Look extent. Look at that. And we know how to play them. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I have not seen this movie. I have not heard of this movie. I apparently didn't watch Comedy Central when this movie came out because <laughs> I did not know this was a thing. Uh, and I didn't even really look up anything about it. I just knew Tim was like, hey, uh-huh. Strange Wilderness. And I was like, Interesting. I don't know what any of that means. I kind of thought it was going to be like a werewolf movie. I don't know why. It sounds like a werewolf movie. <laughs> oh, it's film. a Bigfoot movie. Yeah, it's yeah. a Bigfoot movie. Yeah, but I didn't look anything up about it. That's I was just true. like, what all right, cool. Bigfoot we'll see what movie. he... Yeah. And I had actually forgotten that the category was wordplay, so I didn't even know to look out for Couch and Coral. I was like, uh, I don't yeah. even know why we're watching this movie. What's <laughs> happening? So <laughs> I was completely lost this week, but it was good. I liked it. Adam? <laughs> uh, for me... Do, do, do I thought I, I thought let's just, let's go ahead and say I thought I saw this movie when I was younger and yeah. had Comedy Central. Oh, dog. Yep. <laughs> like I know I at least saw clips of it because it, I mean it's a Happy Gilmore film mm-hmm. or whatever Happy Madison whatever Happy he calls Madison, it. Happy Madison, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he combines two of them. Mm-hmm. Um. So I've seen like I was like oh I feel like I've seen it but then again like some of these productions kind of blend together mm-hmm. yeah, because sure. they have similar humor and they have a lot of the same people. Um, this is true. So I, I was ready to get weird. <laughs> it's some strange. I do love Steve Zahn. Mm-hmm. So I'll say, I'll say that now. Uh, yeah, those are my expectations. <laughs> nice. I didn't really, I was just like, Oh, it's a comedy from the two thousands. I'm expecting a two thousands comedy. Right. Yeah. Did you, did you remember anything about it, really, or just that you? Just that it dealt about? with like a documentary team. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. it oh. Okay. And Tim, how many times have you seen this? Like, have you seen it a lot? A lot. Like, do you remember most of it? Okay. I I could tell you <laughs> that I've probably rented it way too many Damn. times. I should probably just own it and buy it uh, at that point. Even though th- this time I rented it again. <laughs> no, oh my no, gosh. I, I have an issue not. with like. I don't know, like, buying it through a streaming service. I'd rather just own the actual physical thing, but I don't go and buy Mm -hmm. the actual physical thing. Um, So I just end up renting a ton of movies. I don't know. (laughs) It's so stupid. Are are you concerned that, like, if the streaming service disappears, Yeah, something like that. Like, it's just gone. I have that fear. I I conquer that fear quite often, too often. But I have that fear. Mm. But I will say a Blu-ray, like, a 4K, like, Disc is always going to look cleaner than a 4K like stream. Fight me. Yeah, and I have to yeah, 100%. say <laughs> that like if it's this old, there's also that part of like Amazon probably has it right, but it's not like you're gonna come across this film in the wilderness Ayo. and be able to get it at like Walmart or Target. Like this, you'll have to kind of look for it to own it at this. This point. seems mm-hmm. like a movie that would be in the Walmart bin though. The five dollars. Oh, absolutely. Like, yeah. But based on its age. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're like, just like, wow, they have this they have a physical copy of this laying around that they just sweet. like where did they... they have like thirty of these? Yeah. Well at the same time though, it's the one you find in the pile and you're like, I have to buy it. Like it's here. It's I have yeah. to buy it. That's how I am about it. But it's fate. If I, I ever saw it, buy I would so buy it. Many from it. It's I mean it's oh, a man. gold mine sometimes, but Sometimes. You should not. I I look like I look like a crazy person on Black Friday every year. Mm-hmm. I'm walking with a stack of DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, <laughs> whatever, and it's just like, yeah, this is all I did. People are like going out buying gifts for each other. Nah, man, that's not me. This episode brought to you by hard copies of movies. You didn't think those still existed, did you? <laughs> <laughs> or the Walmart five dollar bin. Or the five dollar bin, yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's let's go ahead and dive in. And I just want to say, uh oh, I got the wrong end. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> at the very beginning of the film. Yeah. This, um, I don't. I think it was a monkey. I can't remember. Uh, it like flips upside yeah, down he, and like his dad. His dad. Yeah, the whole the butthole's right. Watching in his, his face. dad and yeah, he literally <laughs> just rolls up into him and it's his butt in his face. <laughs> oh no! It's great. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's kind of funny. Like I just like how it started, which apparently they um. So the director and other co-writer, they actually went and recorded these videos themselves. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. And like one of the the other writer, I think it was the other writer. His dad was in like the '60s, like a nature documentary guy. Nice. Uh, so it's kind of funny. That's amazing. But then, but then we're like in the story, and then we're gonna hop back in the story, like they do in the story. Yeah. Sorry. Story back, forward, left. Because you know he's like on the phone talking to somebody, and he's mm-hmm. like, "Oh, I'll talk to you next week." Yeah. But he's got to tell his whole story first about yeah. why he's not on television. Yeah. 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 And then you quickly find out why, because they do that first bear episode. <laughs> he's like reading off the napkin and he's like, what was it like? Bears it's, derive it's their name from the Chicago, Chicago bears. bears. No, it's the other way around. What's the Star first one though? He says something. He's like, that's just not oh, true. And he like rips the napkin and he throws it's it. It's like all bears are big and Hairy. what was it brown? Oh or yeah, something? big, big and brown. Yeah, and he's like, come on, man! Not all bears are big. And it's like, why did you say brown? Like, what? Is this? But that's part of the joke. But. Yeah, oh. and then and what? He gets to the third one. And it's like bears kill X amount of salmon. Two right? million and, salmon a year. Yeah, and salmon. Two hundred million. It was like two hundred million. million. So, yeah, something like completely just out out there. <laughs> But there haven't been any salmon killing Not bears. Not nearly as many salmon killing bears. <laughs> that's got to <laughs> like, be right, that's guys. That's got to be right, right? Yeah, let's, let's go, go with, with that. that. Let's go with that. Uh, oh, that's God. The good one. And if that doesn't lay out the entire theme for the show, I don't know what does. Oh, it's fantastic. At one point, he says, are we sure bears aren't human? Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny. Like, this might be a little too um, ridiculous, but... Eventually, we find out they're going to try and find Bigfoot, right? Right. There have been there have been quote unquote sightings of Bigfoot that are just bears walking. Nice. Yeah, because they like, get up on their hind legs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So I was like, could it be that? No, it wasn't. It was actually a Bigfoot. <laughs> but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. So as they're like shooting the show and kind of showing you their past episodes, right? Um. It reminds me of Round Planet. So Round Planet is a nature oh, documentary yes. that was on Netflix that I can't find it anymore. And it's like a Damn, legit a nature documentary, copy. but they talk about nature like he does in this film. But a little less vulgar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's fucking hilarious. It's the best nature documentary. It's on Discovery Plus. Yes. All right. Interesting. Sweet. Well, I know what we're doing this weekend. Out. High yeah. five. <laughs> So there's no people, but like he basically they say the same shit. So if you like this, would He's recommend. Like, it's like Planet. a sarcastic, um, Sir David Attenborough. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, it's cool. Very good. All right. So there's real life applicability of this movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's I think it's on Amazon Prime too, Tim. Nice. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. I have to check it out. Yeah. Episode brought to you by Round Planet. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> So, one thing I want to say that I do not remember from when I watched it on Comedy Central, or at least the clips, were the boobies. Oh. <laughs> oh, like the Amazon? He's like, well, that was the Amazon yeah. or whatever. He's like, no, it wasn't. He's like, well, they're not as great looking, so we got some, I don't even know what he says, but it's like. <laughs> they're from Long Beach. Yeah, they're from Long Beach. That's what he said. Oh, my God. This is yeah, and they're just like dancing in front of like a prop. Mm-hmm. And it falls oh. over. <laughs> oh, shit. It's like, what was great about it was the prop, uh, you could see over it from the very beginning. It wasn't even, like, well, like, hidden. Like, it was there right. in the it was, Yeah, it was obviously right in front of a building. Mermaid Man was not a great fucking um, camera dude. <laughs> Which, by the way, Tim, if you didn't know the old man that is his camera dude, yeah. guy mm. is literally Mermaid Man. Doesn't he Spongebob. also do... Oh, yeah, I was going to say... Um, what else did he he did something else i can't remember but yeah i knew that because 
Mermaid Man even kind of looks like him, which is a little weird. He yeah. does! <laughs> but there's, like, a one line towards the end of it is when it, like, literally clicked in my head. I'm like, oh, my God, that's Mermaid Man. Then every time he spoke, I'm like, fucking Mermaid Man. Yeah, you can just tell, yeah. A living legend before your eyes. <laughs> I know. It's like when you see, hear, see Mr. Krabs, it's Clan- Clancy Brown, who plays Mr. Krabs. Mm-hmm. He's actually a live actor. Real life actor, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's no fake actor. No mm-hmm. fake actors here. Um, but, yeah. So the whole premise of this movie, just so you guys know. I know you two know, but other people might not know. That's true. Is that they're, they're getting shut down because Pearson has a way better show than a legit um, show a legitimate <laughs> show a legit show yeah <laughs> while peter does not wait but did we ever see pearson's show how do we know how do we know it's not just because what's his face is on at 3 a.m you know there's nobody awake then True. i'm pretty sure they got real amazon women <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah so their whole plan was this bill calhoun dude's like hey i got a map to big fight Mm-hmm. I just need a thousand dollars. I'll have that, and then uh-huh. they go to Ecuador, yeah, to try and find Bigfoot, and that's yeah. the premise of the show, mm-hmm. movie, pretty much film, yeah, mm-hmm. thing. And they pick up Justin Long at some point. He's at the yeah, very beginning Mermaid, of the bear scene. Yeah, yeah, Mermaid Man's like, can you? Thank you for um, hiring my nephew. I, I, mm-hmm. I just want to like some people. I just want to ask because you see Justin Long, and you're like, he's done a lot of stuff, and he's really, I think he's great. I like Justin Long a lot. And he's in a lot of funny stuff, but you can't tell me that he did did nothing but have fun with this role. This is like oh, that yeah. role that somebody's like, okay, go there and be high, and he's just like, that's it. Do yeah. we? Think, how many? I of feel them like were that's high, it. Though all of them, all of them, <laughs> absolutely all of them. And then of course uh, Jonah Hill, he's fucking great in this too. <laughs> Jonah Hill. What a wild character. I couldn't <laughs> concentrate with his accent. I was like, what is he that? Nailed he, yeah, he, he, did. Did. he nailed it. Yeah, he really did. nailed it. You can make fun of the accent, but he fucking nailed it. I told it. you to get all this stuff in the RV. Oh, yeah, it's all in there. <laughs> no, I, I can see it. It's right here. Oh, this stuff? This stuff's not in there. Oh, this stuff? Yeah, we don't need this stuff. Hey, why don't you take a bow for me? <laughs> uh, is that a thong? What? <laughs> that's one of my favorite things well, yeah, yeah, it is he, so he like really tapped into a super bad fuck me right yeah pretty yeah. much <laughs> oh, this and then there's a scene at some point where they're sitting around the table and <laughs> Justin Long tattooed eyeballs on his eyeballs oh my yes, god yes. and they're like oh god <laughs> it's well, not the first... I'm sleeping <laughs> we got really high last night I got him to tattoo eyes on my eyes <laughs> pretty funny right <laughs> No. Good. Yeah. Oh so when he did that, I didn't notice it. Well, I noticed that he did it, right? Mm-hmm. Like I could tell. But the first angle, you can't really see. They actually did a decent job with that. Like, like making it look like, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Because like, cause you see that a lot of times. Like not a lot of times. But when you see it, it's like it's normally like, oh, it's whatever. But I thought they did a pretty good job of fake tattooing um, eyeballs on his eyelids. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was really trippy. Yeah, Round of really applause was. for the makeup department. <laughs> and I feel like I it was just ma- those guys in that RV that did it. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's the feel of this movie. But I don't know. I had a two million dollar budget. Did it really? Damn. Dang. I mean, all and these this people, is... but yeah, yeah, it's not a small cast. But one of the scenes before that, when they Rolling hire back. someone, Bountical pound. um. They're conducting interviews, and I don't know why I thought this was so funny, but when they just start screaming next over top of each other, I just thought that scene was hilarious. Like, can you imagine being interviewed and then people just start screaming next in your face? Like, oh, man. Well, they were all saying no. Yeah. (laughs) Except for Officer Farvra. Well, yeah, yeah, and I feel like they just kept ex escalating the next. Escalating? Like, at first it was like, next, 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 next. next. It was good. I liked it. Another? Props. Yeah. But then they got rid of my favorite, I maybe one of my favorite characters very early on, and that was Danny. Because he got gnawed on by a fucking shark. Oh, but he, he comes did. back. Yeah, he does come back. <laughs> he didn't die. He just lost a leg. <clears throat> yeah. And a weird chest scar. Which I was like, I don't think he's dead. And Sam and I had this whole discussion that she thought he was dead and I didn't. Oh, no, I did, yeah. 
I mean, I, I only did it because they were in the but... hospital. Yeah. Then, oh, I was like the um the Hispanic guy like bumping music. I was like, why is he like talking about? I, like, I wrote down a hundred dollars cheap. It's cheaper than the dentist. <laughs> and it's yeah. because they, the guy was bumping, and then he like hit his hydraulics, knocked him in the teeth. Um, and they had to run in and go to a dentist. Gotcha. I have another quote that I can't identify. Maybe Tim knows because he's uh-huh. seen it enough. But he's like, you know Bigfoot's name? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, like, uh, uh, they're, they're looking for the tracker. Gus or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he says, uh, we're looking for the Gus. tracker. And he's like, you know Bigfoot's name? He's like, no, that's the tracker's <laughs> name. <laughs> he's like... <laughs> <laughs> Look at Tim. Oh, Tim's our memory bank on this one. I know. <laughs> I'm surprised. I for a second I thought you had me stumped, but then I I brought it around. Nice. <clears throat> Did you guys like the um the computer technology of being able to rip a picture? <laughs> yeah. Perfect map. <laughs> I was like, "There's you can't read that." <laughs> I know. I was like, <laughs> I I understand the point in the film of it. Like, right, I can get past funny. it. It's a comedy. It's not supposed to be taken seriously. Looking at you, CSI. <laughs> Does CSI do this? Yes. Enhance. 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 I've never seen CSI. Oh my god! So they'll zoom Don't in on a picture. Me. They'll zoom Don't in on a picture, <laughs> like a camera that's shooting something a hundred yards away. Zoom in, and it'll be blurry, and they'll be like, "Oh, just enhance the image." Yeah. <laughs> and then they'll be like, "Oh, zoom in perfectly. closer." Yeah. Zoom in closer. Enhance again. Oh my god, that is Bigfoot's hair. Yeah, they literally, that's the joke, is like, in a big room, a picture was taken or something, and they're like, enhance, in, in, zoom in, enhance, enhance, and then they find like a hair, and you're like, what? Like, they literally <laughs> zoom in from a giant, it's it's, it's, it's ridiculous. But. My parents, we, Tim, actually, your, your parents might have done this too, because I know they were Survivor fans. Mm-hmm. We would watch CSI every week after Survivor. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. On CBS. Mm. (laughs) Yeah. Double feature. (laughs) Double two hours of family time. (laughs) Were you allowed to play on your phone? The fuck you smoking? What are you talking about? (laughs) Okay. Girl, this was like 2004. Listen up. You all could have played Snake on your little Nokias. Do you know that I didn't have a phone until (laughs) sophomore year in high school? Yeah. I didn't have one. Yeah. You you had one before me too. Wait, so right, was... but like it was literally just like a flip phone to like call my parents on. I know you couldn't play Snake. I'm sure I could. <laughs> I don't but remember doing it much. I I just I remember playing like Snake and Brick Break only like when I was waiting to be picked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not during CSI. <laughs> no, they they eventually started to let me leave during CSI, and then Wait, I was you had to stay game. the whole time. <laughs> Family <laughs> time. My parents. Did you my, get to eat popcorn? Well, obviously. Nice. It wasn't as good as Tim's parents' popcorn. <laughs> I was waiting for what? it. What? You got some gourmet shit over there, yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. They make some good popcorn. <laughs> they I make had some great uh, popcorn. In middle school, I actually won. Well, we did like raffle things. Like, I don't remember how you got it. it I don't know. Participation I know what you're points about. to get like. <laughs> raffle tickets to anyway he would like raffle off basically old shit he had in his house and uh <laughs> and one of them was this old school like popcorn maker where you it's like a bucket and, and you would crank you put it, right? it on the stove yeah and it's got like gears and stuff and it has like a, a lid on it and you'd pour the cor- kernels in and then you pour like butter or whatever you want in there like whatever toppings and you would have to stand there and you crank the little handle on it and it would stir the popcorn in the bucket and it popped it perfectly oh, and it was so the good, most man. amazing popcorn i've ever had I do they still have that i i need to see if they do i doubt it if they don't i might actually have to go buy one now because that is it was the most it it was a pain because you couldn't do anything else <laughs> yeah you had like to you do literally that. have to stand there and pop the popcorn nowadays it probably wouldn't be a big deal because i mean i could see the tv from there you know back in the day so yeah. i was probably watching strange wilderness while popping popcorn at some point but <laughs> You know, have your phone or whatever, and you can do it. But it takes a little bit. It takes a lot longer than it takes to throw it in the microwave. But it's gourmet shit. Like, it's good popcorn. Oh, it's so good. And Real you can, I mean, shit. The, the, just the ability to add in your toppings is, is oh, yeah. amazing. 
I just wanted butter and salt. Yeah. But I was a basic bitch. Well, you know, Dude. you're not too, you're kind of picky, so it's okay. Just some days, yeah. yeah. <laughs> His parents used to pop me my own popcorn. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'd be hanging out. Here's your, here's Adam's. Yes, yep. I kept my own popcorn. <laughs> I devour popcorn. I eat popcorn every day. Popcorn's really good. It's actually not bad for you either. But it's, some yeah, say that it's good. To, it's good for sleeping for some reason. It helps your brain, um, like when you go to sleep. But not I don't with know. all the caffeine I put on it. <laughs> Drizzle it <laughs> like just coffee grounds. <laughs> this episode brought to you by popcorn. popcorn. <laughs> Old-fashioned gourmet shit. Did that Amish shit that you got for us oh, it's pissed so good. me off? Because now I want Amish popcorn constantly. <laughs> yeah, see? So Tim's had gourmet popcorn from the OG. Yeah, but did they buy the fancy kernels? Yeah. You know, we should... They always had, like, nice. the little pour-in one, yeah. Nice. Very good. So we should probably talk about the episode. Yeah, um, well, maybe. I don't know. Did you guys like how they used the same sound setup, like, sound system as, or, like, song base Database. Song database as Sunny. I didn't notice. They played yeah, no, one of the I did notice that. Um, I think I you notice that every Sonya. time I watch it, and you're like, "Oh, this is a hundred percent." They use like the similar stuff to that. Yeah, it's so they they just there's like a database that you can like subscribe to or something, mm-hmm. and you can use any of the songs royalty free. Okay. And Sunny did that because they were cheap at first. Mm-hmm. Per their podcast, I'm quoting their podcast on our podcast, the podcast. <laughs> Deep in the internet. I know. <laughs> um, but they eventually meet Dick. Dick. Yep. No last name? No last <laughs> like name. Cher. <laughs> just like Dick? Cher. It's just Dick. It's just Dick. <laughs> oh, my. Poor Dick. Um, there were a couple scenes that I was like, they just kept going in on like the teenage, like, I felt like I was watching a bunch of teenagers. Oh, absolutely. Like, the they all acted like something. that. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Cause like Cheryl had to like go do something to um, Gus. And they're like, uh, I got a map. I yeah. Got an I got a map. I've got an atlas, but well, that was after like Gus uh, took off with their map and stuff. Yeah. 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 And then, yeah. But Basically then, just wanted sexual favors from her. Yeah. Pretty much. And then came back and yeah. And I feel like we've seen a lot of dicks at this point. Yes. In the film. Very oh, we did see one. Gus's dick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He had to sew it back together. I was actually surprised that they showed it on, I guess that Amazon, you know, you rent it, it's whatever. But I feel mm-hmm. like other platforms you wouldn't like see that. But it was pretty funny because he's, there, what do he say? It was like a, oh, I can't remember I don't what they remember. called it, but it was great. The line is great. I can't remember it though. But yeah, Gus is a dick. <laughs> Well, Dick is a dick, and Gus is a Gus. Yeah, yeah, true. Mm-hmm. And then but poor, do, go I was ahead. just going to say, and then poor Dick gets eaten. <laughs> and then they eat Dick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was a little sad they didn't, like, somebody didn't say, like, we love, I, I love Dick. Yeah. <laughs> like, Jonah, Jonah Hill's her- character would have been perfect for that. Yeah. Mm. He, he did keep smacking everybody in the dick. He did, mm. yeah, with the little zappy thing, but. Yeah. <laughs> Like he's Cheryl. At, he's Cheryl at first when she's going through something, and then they all just laugh at her. I'm right, like, like, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? And then I actually have a note down. They're like crawling through the wilderness, through the through Ecuador, that is definitely not Southern California. <laughs> um, and they find Pearson dead. Mm-hmm. Like, what mm-hmm. the fuck killed Pearson? Mm-hmm. It was pygmies. He was alive. Well, that's true. He was still alive, and then he was mm-hmm. dead. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this pygmies, but they couldn't call them pygmies, but they are pygmy. I don't know, but that's what happened is they got attacked by pygmies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the pygmy people in the Amazon rainforest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that is California. Those, that is also California. Also known as California, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you know, snakes are also known as porcupines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might even see a snake around here. Oh, shit, is that porcupine? <laughs> So it's just a stupid shit. It's so great. Oh my god, I love it. So, oh, they eventually like Dick gets killed. They eat the fish that killed Dick, and then they mm-hmm. spit that out. Yes. Find Pearson, and then they actually find Bigfoot. 
Yeah, and it's so tragic what happens. <laughs> like, they finally get their cave. big break, and they just oh. shoot him to death. Oh. Well, ba, 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 ba. I, I, th- I think that was more of an aggressive growl than a huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it's like, did you, ever, you guys hear when he said it to us when he came out? I think it was kind of a, huh? Like, what's going on here, huh? No, it was aggressive. That was great. He was definitely aggressive. It's so man. fucking like, great. He just walks out and they blast him. Oh, my goodness. And then at one point, like, Jonah Hill's character, Cooker, his name is Cooker, by the way. Uh, yeah, okay. Cooker. He is saying, like, well, well, you guys know that, like, Bigfoot was made by the French in the 1500s <laughs> to kill <laughs> Americans. They kill and fuck Americans. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, yeah, because Americans were Americans in the 1500s. Yeah. <laughs> we were not the British still. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god! I don't know if Jonah Hill's or Cooker's um, American history class was fully covered. No, he did great. He did great. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Um, but yeah, then he gets off the phone, talks, and he's like, "I'll talk to you next week," which was really confusing to me. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck was he talking to? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think you're not supposed to. Like, it's yeah. suppo- I think it's supposed to create an air of confusion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, we try and sound professional some days. Some days. Then we just chant, we like dick. <laughs> Depends on the Or we talk about popcorn for a good five minutes. Yeah, popcorn solid five. goes with movies. This I is accurate. Yeah. <laughs> that is yeah. true. So can we talk about popcorn next week? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, <It> depends. <laughs> when we all have gourmet popcorn makers. Yeah, exactly. I have a semi-gourmet popcorn maker. Mm-hmm. It's still microwave, but like it's a reusable container. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet, bruh. Pretty, pretty sweet, cool. Bruh. Pretty cool. But anyway, so they try to make it look like Bigfoot hung himself, but he has all <laughs> the gunshots in him, and it's like really like. <laughs> yeah, the camera guy could have gone to the back side of him and then rolled up to the front where his face was untouched. Mm-hmm. But nah, instead they show right with all the bullet wounds. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what a mess. Oh, I wasn't expecting mess. that. You gonna be honest? Oh yeah. them Yeah, I figured they probably were gonna like prop him up or something and like show him, but like in a way that was less obvious that they killed him. And then it's like, oh, of course you show it in a way that's like you killed him. Come on. You guys are good at this. <laughs> I thought they were gonna have like I thought Whitaker Farvra was gonna have to like um handle him and like make him run at them. Mm. So that they would be allowed to shoot at him. Ah. Yeah, no, they didn't make it that far. Yeah. No. They went for the easiest option. <laughs> the darkest option? Yeah. Craziness. And then at some point he uh, gets back to his house and he starts smoking a bong with a goldfish in it. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Poor guy's going to think he's a shark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a great idea. Oh, my God. Danny comes back. He comes back to only, uh, you know, do another shark attack. <laughs> yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> He's like holding his finger o- over the edge. I'm like, well, that thing's getting chomped. And yeah. it does. By the yeah. least CGI looking shark I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that lo- that was real. Yeah, yeah it, it was. was totally yeah. real. Danny lost his arm. And we saw it. <laughs> and I was like losing my shit when they just <laughs> kept looping the shark going. Whoa, that is whoa. my absolute <laughs> favorite thing. I do that all the time. I'll be all like, like laugh and I'll be like, whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm like, what are you doing? And I'm like, it's from Strange doing... Wilderness. And they're like, what? And I'm like, it's the show. It's the shark from Strange Wilderness. They're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I show them the scene, and half, I think more than half of the time, they don't. They have no idea, but they they're like, that's pretty funny, but. They have no idea what the movie is. I just want you to know you nailed it because I just kept <laughs> saying it. I love it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. That's my favorite part of that movie. Oh my gosh. But yeah. yeah. And that reminds me of so Adam and I will go to the aquarium and there's this fish in there that looks like she has oh. a snaggle tooth. And so we call her snaggle tooth and I was like, dude, this is great. This is what we do. It's so good. <laughs> Oh my god. That's why people don't let, let us make movies, Sam. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> oh, boy. Not yet, they don't. Ooh. Not yet. <laughs> and yeah. 
I'm out of notes. Me too. That was yeah. a good ending. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will say this before the cast of the tagline. Mm-hmm. This ain't March of the Penguins. I love that. <laughs> All right. So the cast. Peter is played by Steve Zahn. He's in the White Lotus. Uh, there's Sahara. Oh. And then Daddy Daycare, which is where I first saw him. I first saw him in You Got Mail, which was around the same era. Oh, yeah. No, not at all. But, yeah. What? You've Got Mail came out in the 90s. Or when did like Daddy Daycare two, come out? 2000, the 2000? Like 2004. It was like five or six years apart. And when did this come out? 2008. Okay. Because I was trying to figure out if this was pre or post Super Bad for Jonah Hill. Uh, pre. Super well, came out in they all, Yeah, they all came around the same time. Like Accepted, um, Super Bad. Uh, there's a couple others out there that Dodgeball were, came out Dodge in 2006. Um, but there, there's a bunch of comedies that came out like right around this time, and it, it, I think this one kind of fell to the wayside. Like it almost like nobody knows about it, but I think it's a hidden gem. But it's just whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> look at those teeth. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> God. It's so good. You, I, oh, yeah, I can't even. <laughs> if not anything else, look up that scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the shark scene, Strange Wilderness. It's all you need. It's like solid two minutes of him just going. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, at one point, I was like, it's going to stop soon. Right? Yeah, he's and then it looping it. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. <laughs> but Fred. Fred, their leader. Fred. Fred, the boom guy. Fred is played oh. by Alan Covert. Yeah. He is in Grandma's Boy. I have not seen that. Fifty First Dates. I've seen that. The Wedding Singer. I saw that once. He's the he's one of the guys that's in like all of Adam Sandler's films. Yeah, he looked familiar. Junior is in, it's played by Justin Long. <laughs> he's in Dodgeball. Are you still laughing at the shark? <laughs> no, I was laughing at Justin the Long character. <laughs> <laughs> he's so good. He's so good. <laughs> he's an accepted. Yes. And the Walrus. Oh, God, that movie. Yeah. He's in a lot of stuff, but yeah. And then, yeah, like Herbie Fully Reloaded. Yeah. Relo- fully Loaded, not Reloaded. I knew we watched him recently for the pod, but I yeah. can't remember what for. Of course, it was Herbie. Cooker Herbie. was played by Jonah Hill. He's in Moneyball, Superbad, and Wolf of Wall Street. Mm-hmm. Noise. And a uh, lot of other w- stuff. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say. <laughs> I, I'm only writing down Did you down do three. this list yeah, from memory, fair. or did you pick, like, random ones from IMDb? Because I feel like you know most of this cast. Um, Peter, I did All But Sahara. Junior, I did... I Fred, I did Grandma's Boy. I, couldn't, I didn't remember the other two. Jo, um, Justin Long, I did all three of those. Jonah Hill, I did all three of those. Um, Whitaker, who play, is played by Kevin Hefferman, Super Troopers, and then Beer Fest, I know. Nice. I did not know Club Dread, but I know of that film. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's it's by the same production, same company. Mm-hmm. Nice. They, they they all act together. It's an act. Right. Um, Cheryl, I did not know Cheryl. She's a, played by Ashley Scott. She's into the Blue, The Flash, and then Jumanji Two. I could not remember who she was in Jumanji Two, and we watched that semi recently. Yeah. Uh, Danny, he's played by Peter Dante. I knew he was in Grandma's Boy. But he's also one of the Adam Sandler guys. He's Mr. Deeds, Waterboy. Nice. Um, Ed Lawson, played by Jeff Garland. I knew he was in Daddy Daycare, The Goldbergs, and Wally. <laughs> nice. He's the captain of Wally. Mm-hmm. One of the few characters that talked. And then My is it Milas? What is the old dude's last name? First name, Tim. Uh, Merman Man. Nile. Uh, Miles. I think it's Niles, isn't it? It starts with an M. It's M I L A S. Then yeah, I guess yeah. I don't know. Anyways, he's played by Ernest Borgnine. He's Mermaid Man. <laughs> Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. <laughs> um, he's also an Escape for New York from New York from the eighties. That's like a cult classic or something. That's like a movie. That's a, that's a movie thing. <laughs> and then he also is in Marty. There are other characters in this movie, but I was running out of time. Yep. Um, I see. I got the main crew. Mm-hmm. The main crew. Wait, 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 wait. You missed one. Okay. The Oliver Reed? Yes. Yeah. One of the Pearson gang. I don't yes, think it's the Oliver guy in the middle? Reed. Yeah, I think it's Oliver yeah. Hudson. It's Oliver Hudson. From yeah. Rules of Engagement. Yeah. I don't know what else I knew his first name was Oliver. Yeah. <laughs> that was, was the only it. other That's person it. that you missed. His name, is, he plays a character named Adam. I liked that. I feel like he was wearing like a sweater with a popped collar, which is... 
Very much him. Very much the early 2000s. <laughs> uh, anyway. So sorry. the director is Fred Wolf. He did move. He's he doesn't direct as much, but he writes quite a bit. And I guess he writes some decent films like Black Sheep without a paddle. He was an SNL writer for years. He has so yes. many like he did like Joe Dirt. Nice. Classic. And like he and the other guy, Peter, I'm blanking on his last name. Right together, and they've been doing it forever. Um, actually, the main two characters, Peter and Fred, are named after them. <gasps> oh. Shocking. Now, let us start with the highest rating. <laughs> Google with a 77%. Mm-hmm. Well, that's pretty high. IMDb with a 5.2 out of 10. Nice. Audience with a 35%. What? <laughs> Tim, oh. you can cry a little bit. It's okay. I knew it was coming. Critics with a 2%. <laughs> 2%? 2%. That's, That's totally... savage. Yeah. Who puts 2%? Anyways. Tim, would you flip this on? <laughs> Wait, before you do that. Um, name the two countries in the world that share a border with Ecuador. I have no idea. Nicaragua? That's Central America. We're in South America. Oh. <laughs> Awkward. So now. Uh, all right, we're in South America. Um, where is Ecuador? <laughs> yeah, uh, you can pass if you need to. Also, oh, yeah, pass. Yeah. Paraguay. N- no. California. Uruguay. Uruguay. No. You're Venezuela. Re- Chile. You got, you got, Argentina. There's no. not that many in South America. You, I've missed all of them. <laughs> Brazil. No. Brazil. What's that? Colombia. There's one. What's the last one? We're one of the last ones. Well, no, there's only two. Peru? Peru. It's right there. Oh. Yeah, I was in the wrong region. Of I know it's that. <laughs> Literally named the complete other side. <laughs> Sam names half of half of um, South America. I was going to say, there's. I mean, there's really not that many there countries. Aren't. Brazil's huge, and so is Chile. 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 And same with Argentina. I was thinking that, um, too. Anyways, Tim, you <laughs> flipping this on again. <laughs> well, before we get there, I remember something. Uh, did oh, you no. notice that the last scene is basically a blooper? Yes. They end mm-hmm. with like a blooper. I thought it was great. But yeah, uh, I, if it's not obvious at this point, uh, I am definitely flipping this film on. I think it's fantastic. I do think it's a hidden gem. It is definitely not for everyone because it's just a slapstick like – ridiculous stuff you have to appreciate what it is and what they were doing I, I don't know some people might have issues with it because it's literally just them goofing off but that's why i like it so and of course you know the shark scene so just talk yeah. it off <laughs> uh, how about you sam <laughs> uh i'm not gonna flip it on i what? and i knew this was gonna i know i knew this was gonna happen because as I was watching it, I was like, I'm going to have more fun talking about this movie than I had watching it. And it's nothing against the movie. I just think it it's one of those ones where it's from that time period. And if you didn't see it then, at least to me, it's kind of like, it's it, you're like, I don't really get it. Like, <laughs> I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think I'll need to watch it again. But you know what I will watch again? The shark scene. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just the shark scene. Do you want me to punch yeah. out a picture of yes, the shark? Yes, please. The shark. <laughs> I'll, I'll, print, I'll, print, I'll get a second one for you, Tim. I need to get okay. that background for, like, Microsoft Teams so that yeah. when I'm at work, there's just, like, whoa. <laughs> Can we also get Tim's recording of it? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That whole thing. <laughs> Adam? All right. So, I will tell you, I was coming into this being like, I don't know about this film. I'm probably going to flip it off. But this is the first time <gasps> that I've ever been swayed. I was on the fence, and I got moved. Nice. To flipping it on. Nice. So was it the shark scene, or was it just that you had fun talking about it? I had fun talking about it, and I was like, I feel like everybody should have fun talking about it. The kids are dancing again. (laughs) Everybody's dancing again. By the way, Sam Sam did not understand that reference until recently. She she just always laughed along with us. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what they're talking about. You know how I be. I would be like, it's from Sunny, and she'd be like, okay. I will say, like, I enjoy. I wish there was more of this sh- 
not genre because there's plenty of like mockumentaries, but more of like this like. There's not many documentaries, mockumentaries on nature. Though. I know. I was gonna say. You guys know I love nature documentaries, and then you know I love mockumentaries. So I wish there were more of these because, I don't know, just, you know, like Tim said, they could be hidden gems. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And at this point, I feel like now I, I'm, like, sitting on the fence again, but <laughs> I'm going to stick to my decision. I probably wouldn't flip it on again, but I might stop for a few key scenes. How's that? There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's worth it. Yeah. All right, so I just want you both to know there's only three left. Yeah! So this is my last pit film I'm picking for the season. <gasps> Pick it real good. Spin it real good, Sam. All right, just so everybody knows. No, I'm not going to ruin the rest of them. But I was trying to read what's on here. One of them's upside down. Oh. <laughs> Sam can't read upside Sorry. down. Sorry. <laughs> which is really sad. You also gave it Cursive? a week spin. Are you saying curse? Dude. I pressed it in the middle. It spins slower because they're chunks of the wheel. And uh, <laughs> you got near and dear. Oh, I knew it. I knew he was going to. <laughs> yes. Do Why did he get? <laughs> I know, right? Like, I feel like you've gotten to pick more of your near and dears than either of us. Fun fact. <laughs> apparently, I've picked 75% of the films. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> According to these two. <laughs> Uh, well, this last one definitely wasn't near and dear to me. So I don't shy no, out. not at all. <laughs> well, on that note, Tim, can you please give us a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> it's too good. So good.